Of course, we've been talking about the printer issues at a couple dozen voting sites uh, sparked some widespread rumors across social media yesterday. Yeah, maybe some family or friends from mm -hmm. out of state <laughs> were messaging you saying well, what's going on in Maricopa County. Well, tonight the county reassuring voters every legal vote will be counted. Still some poll workers say that machine debacle did cause a little confusion. Alexis Dominguez live in the newsroom and you caught up with a poll worker. How does she think things went yesterday? Well, she tells me her site in El Mirage did not have any issues yesterday. Still, she says all the news of issues with machines across Maricopa County did spark panic, leaving voters thinking their vote wouldn't be counted, even though their site was not affected. In the morning and early afternoon of Election Day, voters reported long lines at polling locations across the valley. Close around us, we had the Surprise Civic Center, and, and that was very long waits. It was two hours for most people. But Callie Jones with the Arizona Senate Democratic Caucus, who was a poll marshal Tuesday, says it was not an issue at Dysart Community Center. On Tuesday, we did not necessarily run into any of the major problems that we were hearing about. Initially, issues were being reported at 60 voting locations in Maricopa County. Election officials believed there were problems with the tabulation machines not accepting ballots, eventually discovering the problem was actually a printer setting, not producing dark enough ink to be read by the tabulators. People were worried that tabulators weren't working. They were hearing from people either running for office, currently in office, that you know the tabulators were we're getting misreads, weren't right, and ours were running just fine all day. So we were trying to reassure voters. Tuesday was Jones' third time voting in an election, but her first time being an election worker. My voting lifetime has been very hectic. We've seen people question the legitimacy of our elections, and I figured, you know, you can't complain if you don't take part. She says the vast majority of poll workers step up to ensure that elections are safe and fair, a sentiment also shared by Arizona Assistant Secretary of State. Our election workers are heroes, and, you know, we are so thankful for all the people who stepped up yesterday and worked very long hours at all of our polling locations across the state. And several Republican politici politicians argued that problems at voting sites would hurt their candidates who had advised supporters to vote in person because of the distrust of mail-in ballots. Now, Stephen Richer, the county recorder, a Republican himself, said the problems were disappointing, but it did not prevent voters from casting ballots. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.